It was supposed to be a dream vacation among friends, but they say it has turned into a nightmare. The cruise they bought never happened. It was canceled due to COVID, and months later, they are still trying to get a refund. Investigator Lewis Bolden is working this one for us and has some information that everyone needs to know about cruising, Lewis. That's right. These two couples both spent thousands of dollars on this vacation and another thousand on the trip insurance to protect their investment. Sounds like they covered all their bases, but they are still fighting for a refund even after the unthinkable happened. Since we've been together in the last 37 years, we've done an enormous amount of traveling. Harvey Wasserman and his wife Arlene have always loved to travel. Here they are in Washington, D.C., in Paris, and Vienna. So when they got a brochure to take a 15-day Viking cruise through the Panama Canal in Central America, Wasserman says his wife couldn't resist. And the first, very first cruise that Arlene and I did together was through the Panama Canal. And we were really excited about going back and seeing it again. According to these documents, they paid more than $12,000 for the cruise, which included money for travel insurance, which they say they purchased through Viking. They also it invited their good friends, Deborah like and Alvy Blankenship. We're kind of excited about going with them and... Uh, because we're close friends. The Blankenships paid more than $10,000, which also included trip insurance. But then they got this notice that their cruise was being canceled due to COVID. The couples chose to rebook on a future cruise. But before it could happen, Arlene passed away. At 75, it's not a life I planned. I don't even know how to go forward. Wasserman keeps his wife's remains close by, but after the service, he decided he could not take the cruise alone. The idea of going to someplace new and enjoying myself, it's upsetting to just think about it. Wasserman says he tried to get a refund but was denied. The same for the Blankenships. Here's why. When they agreed to be rebooked on the second cruise, they accepted a voucher for a future cruise credit worth 125% of what they originally paid. The caveat, vouchers are not eligible for cash refunds. It was never really explained properly. Then the couples turn to their trip protection plan. One of the covered reasons for cancellation is death of you, your traveling companion, or your family member, according to the documents. Wasserman submitted a claim and included his wife's death certificate, but was denied because the booking was paid using previously issued travel vouchers, and such vouchers are non-refundable. What the hell did I buy the insurance for? News 6 started contacting Viking on April 19th, the 20th, and 21st. Thank you for calling Viking. We followed up with phone calls. Hi, this is Lewis Bolden, reporter at News 6. And then more emails, even to some of the company's executive team members, but still got no response. I don't understand why, especially under the circumstances, why, why it's so difficult for them to honor my wishes. Now, as we've been working on this, Wasserman tells me Viking has offered him a refund for his wife's portion of the cruise, but not his. He says that's not good enough. We spoke to a very experienced travel agent who says this does not happen often, but he said the one time he has seen it, it was with TripMate, the travel insurance provider in this story, and with Viking. If we he hear back from either, we'll include any comments they have with this story on ClickOrlando.com. Mm. So obviously his big question, why buy the insurance? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything people can do to make sure their trip insurance actually covers their trip? Yes, they can. There are some really simple things that people can do. First of all, ask a lot of questions and read the policy thoroughly. Also, if you want advice on particular companies and their coverage, call a travel agent. Travel agents can also get insurance for you, even on a trip you booked yourself. And the last thing is your travel insurance does not have to come from the company you booked your travel through. So that means you can shop around. And that insurance is not cheap no, either. No, more so, than $1,000 yeah. they pay. It, it just right. feels like you couldn't prepare for this scenario that he found himself. In. There's no way he could have known mm -hmm. that she would pass away like no, that. No, no. And they would be in the exact same situation had they not bought the travel insurance. Mm. So Un yeah. unreal. Well, hopefully this gets resolved for him. Lewis, thank you. I know you'll stay on it.